It's interesting. I love disco. I don't like being pigeonholed in, in that one era. But at the time, music was regulated and it was separated. It was segregated. And there's the pop charts, which is the white artist, and there's the R&B charts, which is the black artist. And you have to reach number one R&B before the, the white radio stations even touch your song. And here comes disco with all different colors and genres of music. And I remember You Don't Send Me Flowers was number one. And then it, the freak came out and knocked it right off the block. And there were a lot of executives back then that were like infuriated. They were, what? This just doesn't happen. And so I think it was political. I think it was the backlash was really political. I think it was, we have to keep this separate. Dance music comes in here and it doesn't matter what color you are. What color is dance, <laughs> you know? And so I think something had to, they had to label it even more so. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> there are some really bad disco oh songs. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon, uh, yeah. But then there's some really bad country songs and some really bad. I think there's good and bad in all kinds of music.